Welcoming guys to another Walking Dead Road to Survival video. This is your host, Just Call Me Tex, and I'm back. And today we're gonna get ready to talk about my tier list. Um, before we get started, um, on this tier list today, we do have some honorable mentions before I get into the uh, thought process behind why certain characters are where they're placed. Um, and there's a couple of things we're looking at today. We are looking at the meta, we're looking at the character's longevity, and we also looking at how the characters play into multiple parts of the game, such as roadmaps, faction assault, the new event of challenge run, and things of that nature. So we're looking at all of those different parameters, and this is how the tier list has come about. So the honorable mentions, we have Mercer, S-Class Jeremiah, Jackie, Marge. We have Magna and S-Class Scotsman. These guys are what we call honorable mentions. Um, though we are in the mythic era, we're well into the mythic era. They still seem to have a um, very strong place in this era. Um, they used a lot multiple different teams actually you could really build some good teams around them and things of that nature and uh scotsman is one of the best tunes along with mercer with stopping the zachary bleed teams which is why he's in a museum and um which is why zachary is in the um store and you can be able to get a uh, mercer and uh S class Scotsman's from the museum. You can pull them from there. So, um, you know, this is why um, uh, Zachary is now what we would call free to play. He's available for everybody to be able to get um, by trading in some of your uh, tombs and things of that nature. So you can be able to get him from there. Now, um, we have the collections list. This collections list is pretty much the tunes that um, you just want to be able to have for collections. You want to be able to have them just in case they're needed in an event or something of that nature. Um, on this list, we have Axel. We have Beta. Beta is a decap tune, but there are other decap tunes that are in the game that are better. We have Carl. Um, Carl was once widely available within the game, um, but now he's only on select list. I, th I think they probably removed him off of the select recruits, but um, that's where you can be able to get Carl. Connie um, as well. She is a silver mythic. You know, these characters do not have longevity except for maybe two of them that you'll see later on in the tier list. But you want to go ahead and um, just keep these guys in the collection or um, especially the um, silver mythics is fodder to be able to level up your gold mythics. Now on this list, next we have Darius, we have Dexter, we have Gabriel, and Harlan. These guys, when they uh, Mythic Era first came out, had some viability, but now we're on into the second phase, which, which is what it looks like for the Mythic Era, and um, these guys' viability is just not as strong as it used to be. So um, they're down here into the collections. You wanna hold on to them, tier fives. Um, you also want to, if you can get them to limit break two, limit break three, you want to be able to do that because that's going to help with your Lieutenant level on that level there. Um, so next we have Heath, we have Herschel, Holly, John, Bruce, Bruce was an event tune. Um, I think out of the event tunes, he was the worst event tune that we've had so far. Um, he just doesn't have any viability right now in the game. In Conquest, when he's on the other team, he slaps. But as far as you being able to use him and put him together, just don't see any um, such viability there. If you are currently using Bruce and you have a way and a method of building him, things of that nature, drop that down in the comments below. So next one on the list, we have Sophia, we have Shane, Sadiq, and Vincent. And these are just your collection tunes. Sophia, um, I, I really wish the game could rebuild kits because I think that she has um, some great potential if her kit can possibly be rebuilt. Now, 
on to the next one, which is our C ranked list. Okay. On this C ranked list, we have Ico, we have Aaron, Dante, Garrett, Elodie, Dale, Gregory, Maggie, Pete, Rosita, Cal, Shiva, and Lori 2000. Lori 2000 was an event tune. Um, and she was to me, um, she has potential, but, um, just with the current meta, um, she's a single target tune. Um, she would be in a game just to get rid of like the governor, things of that nature. And, you know, I find that a bit problematic where, um, especially like within war, when you have to be able to rush fast and kill teams fast because your defense probably only lasts maybe three um, to five turns. Um, that's slow attack that she has um, that are only going to help with governor can be problematic. Next on this list, we have Shiva. Now, Shiva is a good tune, but by herself, Shiva cannot do anything. OK, she needs to be in a team with heavy bleed and now burn as well. So she has to be in one of those team structures in order for her to thrive. Otherwise, she is not um, as useful as we would like her to be. OK, next on this list, we have Cal and Rosita. Um, Cal is a guardian shield tune. He can be used in certain scenarios. And Rosita is a stun tune. She can be used in conquest in certain scenarios. If you don't have some of the other tunes like Razo and things of that nature, who we will see later in the tier list. Then you have Pete. Pete is a good uh, beginning leader um, because if your tune crits, he gives, I think, 10 or 15% HP um, to the tunes. So, you know, he's a pretty good, decent leader. And Maggie can definitely hold her own as well too gregory is a really good defensive tune um but there are better tunes that you can use um besides gregory um he also um heals um really really quickly so um he is a very very good um tune i believe he has indomitable which <clears throat> um helps with that as well too but he's a great great tune um dale um Dale has potential. I wish his kit could be reworked. Um, I think Dale has some good potential, um, especially um, in some defensive settings, but um, he's just a little bit too slow. Um, and there are other tunes that are better out there. Then we have Elodie. Um, Elodie has potential as well too, but like I said, there's just other better tunes out there. Um, even though um, Elodie does get stronger as her team mates die. Um, so she can become an absolute truck. But the problem is we have blue tunes that will just overpower her um, in the game so far. So you, um, she, she, it, it makes her not be viable. Okay. Then we have Garrett and um, we have Dante, Aaron. And to finish off that list, we have Ico. Ico was another um, event tune she does do defensive down on one tune she can attack three tunes um so she does have um some sort of aoe damage that's going to be able to help out so she is definitely a a decent tune um that you can have as a leader you know if you have your and you want to be able to get your hands on her um i believe Ico is in the select recruits will now let's go ahead and move on to the B tier list. Okay. So B tier, um, we have Abraham and Tyrese. Tyrese used to be an A tier list tune. Um, but you know, because Tyrese attacks five tunes, um, those type of AOE damage tunes tend to fall off a lot quicker in the game than some other tunes so he definitely fell off but he is still viable in um, certain areas and if you have him um, you can build him right and he still will hit like a truck but there's just other better um, people that you can be able to put in there um, right now for him Abraham is situational if you put him with um, Andrea 2000 Abraham you know Dwight you got a nice little 
dirty combo there. Um, with Shiva as well and a strong leader like Ty, you can be burning and bleeding and catastrophes all over the place. So that's actually a really good team. Definitely go ahead and take that down. If you got a better team build with Abraham, Dwight, and Andrea 2K being featured, let me know down in the comments below. Erica was a war tune. She's pretty good. Um, Frost is good as well. Um, these B tier tunes can be featured on some um, strong offenses, some strong defenses, and um, they are viable with um, low level to mid level war teams as well. Um, so you definitely can be able to use them. Glenn is a decent leader. Um, but there's better in the game. Everybody has access to Ezekiel now. So because you have access to Ezekiel now, you know, it kind of puts Glenn on the back burner a little bit. But still, he is a good viable tune, especially um, being used for his HP and crit and conquest. Um, Magna is a tune. She's a very rare one, though. It's hard to get your hands on her. Um, But um, she can definitely be built right and lead a magnificent defensive team. Next on this list, we have Yumiko. Yumiko, um, uh, Yumiko is what I would call a plus one, plus two character. So Yumiko can be on a higher list, um, but I have her here because she's just not used as much in the game, except for um, Conquest, which is a, a, a part of the game as well. But outside of that, you don't see too much use of her. Um, but her con, her con, uh, founding is absolutely amazing. Rick, I really thought um, he would be a strong um, leader, um, especially for free to play tunes um, going forward and being able to use him and stuff like that. Um, but he turned out not to be that tune that I thought he would be. He's a decent leader. You know, if you have no one else, you can definitely plug him in there. But Negan is still meta. Um, next, we have Mercer on his list. He is a very good. Um, defensive tune, but with recent releases such as Zachary and Cliff and things of that nature, um, you can be able to get your hands on more viable tunes and use them as well. Kelly is a good tune. He is only a silver mythic. You still see him out there um, from time to time. Um, he is a decent tune that you can pick, put your hands up on as well. I see I have Erica up here twice. Um, what a coincidence, right? But um, Martinez is next. He is a good confounding tune. Does a lot with his kit. I have Lori Grimes up here on the B tier list. Um, you just we just haven't had a chance to get our hands on her. But um, they did say that the trials will be coming back around. So once the Atlanta trials get back, those of us who have those five Atlanta tunes, which most of us should. Um, we will have a chance to get our hands on Jesse Anderson is a great defensive tune. You just have to build her right. Um, but there's such strong green tunes right now. It's easy to take these tunes down. Um, you know, so um Jesse Anderson is a very decent tune. Um, she can be found in the um uh, mythic uh collections in the um metals collections right now. Ash is a great tune as well. Um she does decap and you can put a rampage weapon in her hand and decap more than one tune at a time so she is definitely definitely good there next you have eugene eugene is a um he was just a, 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 a pay to play character um there was a big mess up with eugene so most of us was able to get one of him for free those of us who paid were able to get two of him to be able to tier five him so that was pretty good um sam and tom new tune conrad is a pay to play tune just like eugene so a lot of people don't have their hands on him and governor 2000 not to be mixed with the regular governor this is the skybound x governor he is a decent lead you can actually put a deadly skybound team together with him at the helm next on his tier list is the a rank tunes okay these are the tunes that you definitely want to get your hands on because they are part of multiple metas can be used in conquest survival road um challenge run things of that nature and they are absolutely absolutely some of the best
best tunes in the game. So we have Alpha. Alpha is good for conquest. Most people know about her. Um, and um, that infection, uh, once you get it leveled up, that 40% infection is nightmarish. Andrea is on the A list. She used to be S tier, but with other tunes coming into the game, um, she had, you know, moved down just a tier, but she still can be a plus one. She is definitely a deadly attack tune as well. Gator is a great defensive tune, and you can actually work him. You can, you know, make Gator into an offensive character as well, too, you know, in certain situations. So that's good as well. Um, Jesus is a A rank tune. I know people are like, why is he up here? That disarm that he does. He also has an absolute weapon in his hand and he could fast heal. If you upgrade his weapon, you could put a fast healing weapon in his hand. He disarms, he gets stronger as the battle goes on. He's actually a decent tomb. I'm surprised I never used him, but um, yes, he can definitely work. Princess, that's my baby. Um, she could be a plus one as well, her and Sandy. Um, but right now there are other tombs that you know are being used in the game especially since we're in a heavy bleed and burn meta at the moment so you have princess you have sandy um we have thomas richards up here why is he a rank because there is just a tune that dropped in the game she's not on his tier list this time but she will be once we be able to get our hands on her and get her into motion um named pamela um Milton, I believe it is. She is the leader of the Commonwealth. She gets plus 50% HP. That's going to work very well with Thomas Richards' attack and Kapoor as well, too. You put them in the team along with the governor, who's also uh, coming up. They are a nightmare. It's a great offensive team. You can be able to build with them. So we have Ezekiel, the best defensive leader, free to play that you can be able to get in the game. Doc Stevens is still holding his own after being one of the earlier featured tunes. He is really good as well. Fast healing weapon, absolute defense. Um, and he does heal over time. Um, Michonne, his exact counter. Decaps, she is an absolute nightmare and a beast, and she does bleed. She is very good as well. Um, next on this list, we have Mike. Mike is a new event tune. He is up here because he works very synergetically with Barker. Him, Barker, and Cliff, you can put them into a team, add a damage tune. If you don't have a damage tune, you can be able to add bleed or some type of burn or something of that nature, and you can build you a very stout defensive team that way as well. You can even put hills in there just to keep them alive. You can also, if you got Rick, put Rick in there as well. It's just a lot of ways you can go. And Mike is a absolute great tune. And he has kill potential with bleed and things of that nature and infection over time. So you have a Mike there. Barker is a event tune. He is one of the best event tunes that we've had so far. Um, and um, he is a great defensive leader. You can definitely work on him and um, build him up and put him in a good team and he'll work as well. Morgan was a mythic trials tune. He is absolutely great. Um, hopefully we look forward to that mythic trial coming back around because Morgan is a nightmare. He's absolutely loving. Next on this list, we have Andrea 2000. Skins, we all know what Andrea 2000 does. Um, with that burn skins is really good too. He's a combat medic, a new, um, um, character specialty in the game. So when this guy hits you and he crits, he gives 25% of his attack and bonus HP to his team. Yes. He needs to be on your defensive team. Cliff is out there as well. He is good too. Harper, um, is good. Cliff is a another bodyguard tune um once cliff a r goes off his rush goes off it's a it's over he starts giving all this bonus hp and stuff like that he's he's a nightmare to kill um harper is a strong um attack tune leader pretty much and you put her and michonne 2000 in the team um with command rick and uh, bye bye you know ain't no lie baby bye 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 so um 
they work very well synergetically as a team and everything like that um negan 2000 payback tune part of the skybound event that's currently going on right now in the game he is decent as well and next last but not least is the creme de la creme and this is what i would call the s rank tunes these are the absolute best tunes in the game you want to definitely get a hold of them um if you can a lot of them are available free to play so i'll go over that first and talk about the tunes that are available free to play so alice governor negan waylon mirabelle ivanova razo carol connor Ty, Zachary, Rosita were all free to play tunes. There's only about three of these tunes on this list that are not free to play. So what that tells us is that um, the game is in a really good state because you can get your hands on these tunes. And you, if you build them right, you're gonna have a deadly team. So we have Alice here. Alice is a absolute beast. Um, if you have a healer on your team, she gives like 35% extra heal or something like that. And you can put a command with her, um, put Scotsman on the team. You can put Lydia there and another tune and revives going on all over the place, heals all over the place and you doing tons of damage. 1535 weapons, they're good. The governor, not much I need to say about him. We know why he's S rank because he's still a nightmare. I still think he's broken. He just goes off just too much for me, but I like it because I have him tier two and another one ready for tier three. So I like it. Keep the governor coming. Definitely helps out in war on your defense as well. Negan um, is the best leader in the game. Hands down. Um, he's free to play. He's accessible. Everybody is using him. He is a beast. Um, <clears throat> there's some out there who will say that alice is my guy man on the moon <laughs> loves alice but you know negan is the best Waylon, disarm tune he's amazing as well too mirabelle's good um she does that confused turn one and she really really helps your team out there lovely lovely tune as well and um when she rushes she does 40 percent defensive down so it's good really good Ivanova, the best offensive tomb in the game to me personally. She slaps also too. Um, I have a really good Ivanova weapon. She's just so good, man. She just slaps all over the place. And this is why I think that, you know, she is definitely, definitely one of the, if not the best tune in the game. Next on this list, we have Razo. Razo is a great defensive tune. Um, if you can tier two him, he keeps going off every turn. So it's like active, active rush, active, active rush, active, active rush. Like Razo is a nightmare, man. Um, Carl is up here as an S rank tune because she does a boatload of damage and she cleanses. So if you don't have Mercer Scotsman, you could get your hand on Carl. She's in the metal museum. She'll do good by you. Connor, one of the best tunes in the game. Many people have him on offense and uh, defense. Um, he, he's just like ambidextrous. You know what I mean? You could be used on both sides of the field. He's great. Ty, burn leader, absolute nightmare. Love him there. Uncle Sam is still a S rank um, tune, but there are ways around Uncle Sam, and there are some strong, strong counters for him. Rosita, Lydia, Ivanova slaps him. So if you have them on the team, they will absolutely destroy Uncle Sam sometimes in one hit. Like, they'll destroy him. But if he's not destroyed and he goes off, especially because you can put the Razo weapon in his hand where he has impair and daze if you do a critical hit, HP, he becomes a nightmare. Tara is a beast on the defensive end especially because she reduces burn and bleed by 70 percent there's uh just ways that you can build her but i have a team that slapped these tara teams as well too there's ways around it which i love there's a lot of good balance in the game lydia is one of the new tunes that just came in she's in the whisper event right now i have her i've been testing her behind the scenes and boy oh boy 
she slaps as well she's very very good too zachary don't have to mention much about him everybody know him bleed all over the place besides his bleed he's really not good but because the bleed is so powerful is why he is s rank you could wipe a team in two turns with zachary's bleed if he's built right next we have rosita on this list and rosita slaps if you don't have her um or if you didn't get a chance to get her when she comes back around for the um again or she goes into a museum or something of that nature go ahead and get her because she absolutely slaps she is a disarm tune as well but the difference between her and waylon is that rosita is a very strong attack tune that disarms so she's disarming for herself so she'll disarm a tune first and then her attack comes in and just slap them man so she is a very very good tune there as well now there you have it this is my mythic tier list for the month of october i'll be back in november with another one hit that thumbs up button hit that like button hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell this is your boy just call me text signing out peace